what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel this is the rth podcast man i'm your host nephew and i'm checking in man so we got ryan garcia we got roly romero we got roly romero we got ryan garcia depending on who you see as the a side and who you see uh having the advantage going into a fight of this magnitude um setting to take off uh really soon bruh but Man, this video ain't about the fight, bruh. This is about Pump Fake Ryan Garcia, bruh. He is Pump Fake Ryan, bruh. The reason why I'm calling him Pump Fake Ryan, bruh, is because he's back to his old tricks again, bruh. Who remember when Ryan Garcia was trying to get the fight with Tank Davis? Undefeated. Every fight he has something to say about Tank Davis. Every fight he refers to Tank Davis. In the media, he refers to Tank Davis the whole nine, which helped him build that resume of diehard King Ra fans that he used to have, right? I mean, he probably have a majority of them still around, but not everybody, right? He, he had the biggest following on uh, social media to a certain degree, not because of nothing he was doing in the ring. It was because he kept saying, Tank Davis here, Tank Davis there, Javante Davis, Javante Davis, this, that, and the third about Tank, that, uh, and the third about Tank. And that what got people excited about seeing him in the ring. And he's doing it again. He's doing it again, bruh. So, for the better half of the past few weeks, Ryan Garcia has been talking about Shakur Stevenson. Right, Shakur boring. He think he know everything about boxing. Shakur, 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 I'll beat him up. He this, he that, he this, he that. Right? Getting everybody excited about the next fight being Shakur Stevenson. So he goes into the Oscar DeWarte fight. He have an all right night. People bad mopping him about the shoulder roll. It is what it is. Who cares? Um, he gets the W at the end of the night. When they asked him, hey, bro, you know, who, who you want to fight? I want Rollies. Come on, Rollies. Let's fight, Rollies. What, what, what's, what's the point of talking about Shakur Stevenson if you don't want to get into the ring with him? Not to a certain degree, if you guys are reading this, but he did say that it'll be a boring fight between he and Shakur, right? It'll be a boring fight. Well, why is it going to be a boring fight, Ryan? If you think you're going to go in there and beat him, go in there and dominate him, why not just go in there and do that? Obviously, you can close the gap. You're the taller guy. You have the longer arm reach. Obviously, you can go in there and get the clothes, right? If you can't go in there and get the clothes, why are you calling the man out all the time? Right? Right? Oh, you, you need those ticket sales, huh? You just use a popular black fighter, bro. That's just what it boils down to. He did it with Tank, and now he's doing it with Shakur. Use a, a, a popular black fighter. Keep calling his name. Use the racist uh, aspect of the fan base of sport of boxing. I don't know why everybody got to be racist about boxing. It is what it is. Um, I don't really care to complain about it. Um, if that's what y'all want to see the better half of Spanish fighters take on black fighters or white fighters take on black fighters or Asian fighters take on black fighters and that's what gets you guys excited about seeing the sport, fine. Because at the end of the day, everybody making money off of it, right? So it is what it is in that aspect. Who am I to bad mouth that particular scenario? But come on, bro. If you're going to be calling names, you got to fight that person. That's it. And that's what you guys, if you want to be racist, all right, man, be racist. Oh, who cares? You ain't you ain't taking no food off my table with your racism. It is what it is. But if you're going to call names, then you got to get in the ring with that person, bro. Because then it becomes cliche. That's what you guys should be demanding from a guy like Ryan Garcia. Okay, well, you called his name. You can't walk out the ring and say, Roly. You can't say, Roly. Now, here's what Roly had to say about it. I don't want to go through all this. <laughs> I don't want to go through all this. Roly haven't had anything to say. I think Roly's on IR right now, injury reserve. Um, I don't know what he's dealing with. I did see uh, reports on it, but I haven't seen Roly say nothing about Ryan Garcia until recently, after he got called out. So it's a scenario where I don't think Ryan believes he can beat Shakur. I don't think that Ryan believes he can beat Shakur. Can he do it in my opinion? Do he have the talent and the skill too? Yeah, but I think he'll cry, baby. That's the only thing about Ryan Garcia, bro. Um, he came out recently um, and he badmouthed Bernard Hopkins to a certain degree. I don't respect that because um, let's keep it all the way up being. Although, although I understand where he's coming from, um, they left him stranded. 
uh, as far as his L to Tank Davis, a lot of people say you quit in that aspect. They still should be by your side. But like they saying, man, it's not a baby culture. They're not there to baby you. So it is what it is in the aspect. Saying that to say, I just think you, you tried to embarrass him. But maybe that's just putting a, a play out of Tank Davis' book, right? I don't think that um, Ryan Garcia, Oscar De La Hoya, and Bernard Hopkins are on bad terms. I don't. Because controversy sells tickets, bruh. Controversy is interesting. It is, bruh. It's, it's very interesting. Tank, usually, right? It's not every single time you see Tank. But usually, you can find Tank saying something about Floyd Mayweather in a negative aspect. And if you guys know anything about Floyd, right? He will always say all publicity is good publicity. All right? All of it. It could be negative. It could be positive. All of it is good publicity, right? And so for Tank to say something bad about Mayweather, that sparked interest, right? Or oh, Mayweather's doing this behind the scenes. Mayweather doing that behind the scenes. This, that, and the third. People get interested in the Tank Davis. So now Ryan Garcia is taking that same sales pitch, and now he's using it versus Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, right? But it was weird. He went in on Bernard, but he didn't go in on Oscar like he should have went in on Oscar because Oscar got his ass whooped by Floyd. Bad. He got his ass whooped by Floyd. And you happen to be cool with Floyd. Why didn't you throw Oscar under the bus? That's, Come on, man. It's the same place, the same pump fake. Pump fake Ryan. I'm going to make y'all think I want to fight this guy and I don't want to fight him. And then it's going to go maybe two, three more years down the line. He'll finally start calling out Shakur for a real fight. I mean, come on, bro. Same old play. Same old play. I see the reverse coming, Ryan. This is this is trash. No offense to the Roly fight. I do think that Roly is a legit fight for Ryan Garcia, but I'd rather see this after Shakur. I know you was just talking trash about Shakur. Have the fight with Shakur. Let's not talk about Roly, and then let's not make excuses. Let's not make excuses. You said you can beat him. Let's see if you can beat him, bro. That's a super fight between Ryan Garcia and Shakur Stevenson. It will solidify who, in my opinion, is. Well, this one as well, right? Because you look at this one, right? Um, both of these gentlemen and Ryan Garcia and uh, Rolly Romero, they both seen Tank Davis. Both of them only have one L on their resume, although people could say Barroso beat uh, Rolly. A lot of people can say Barroso beat Rolly. It is, it is what it is, right? Ryan in his next fight. After seeing Tank Davis, he get the clothes. He got a knockout. Um, but I seen that coming. Like I tell you guys, when people go to Derrick James, they end up coming out with that knockout power. So Derrick James is good at helping your fighter get the knockout. It just it is what it is. And his, his, the end of his year not going so bad. But uh, saying that to say, um, this is just, in my opinion, a fight to solidify who Tank really beat. Like who would have had the better option of beating Tank to a certain degree, right? Who's the better option? Like, who had the best chance to beat Tank? If Rowley go in and he, he get the W over Ryan, that means he had a better chance of beating Tank than Ryan, although they fought, they both fought in the same round, huh? I think Rowley fought in six and Ryan fell in seven. That's crazy, huh? But uh, saying that to say, uh, Roley, I mean, if Ryan wins, same scenario that plays out, right? He had a better chance. Even though he lasted one extra round, he has a better chance. I don't care, though. I, I don't really care about that that idea. I, I want to see Shakur Stevenson, Ryan Garcia, and see if Ryan can do it. Because, Ryan, you saying you can do it, bro. You can't be coming back with this Tank Davis, get people excited, and then y'all just fall for it. Y'all going to fall for it, bro. What a what am I doing here, okay? Because you guys are just going to fall for it anyways. And a guy like me going to be calling it out, and then I'm going to be considered the hater because I'm calling it out. Not that he's not doing it. Not that you don't care that he's doing it. It's just, oh, I'm a hater because I'm calling it out because I see the pump fake coming. I see the reverse play coming. And I'm trying to stop you guys from doing the same thing y'all did versus Tank and then getting your heart broke because Tank dominated. Then he quit, right? He, 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 called, he called Tank name... For at least the better half of four fights. He caught it for at least four fights, bro. Four fights he was able to steal your money by calling Tank Davis. Four fights. He was stealing your money. Literally saying, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this fight. I'm going to give you this fight. And look look how easy it happened. 
right? Besides the contractual agreement, and that was that was from Della Hoya and team. It wasn't from uh, Ryan. I mean, it wasn't from Tank Davis and Mayweather. It was from Della Hoya and team. They held that contract too long. They act like they didn't want to sign it. They didn't want to send it back. I got all of that on the on the channel, bro. If you don't believe me, just go on my channel, put in Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. It's gonna all pop up, bro. It's all going to pop up, bro. They held the contract too long because they didn't want the fight in the first place, bro. They wanted to continue to make money off Tank Davis's name and and give Ryan lesser opponents. You see, you see what I'm saying? And, and allow him to just keep using Tank's name. I guess he was just ready to cash out at 30 million. If you were smarter, you would have went seeing Roley and got that fight out the way, and then went seeing Tank. That would have been about another 35, 40 million. I'm get off this video, bro. Cause I'm talking a little too much on this one, bro. But saying that to say, man, come on, pump fake Ryan, bro. You going from uh, saying you want to fight Shakur to backtracking? Shakur really is interested in fighting you, bro. Can we get that fight next? No offense to Rolly, but Rolly got uh, a situation playing out in the WBA. Let him go live his career, man, and, and move on and do his own thing. Because you're not gonna sell this fight, Ryan. Rolly is. Rolly gonna sell the hell out this fight. You're not gonna sell it. You're gonna be whining. You're gonna be bickering. You're gonna be crying, hollering at Oscar De La Hoya. You're talking about Shakur to sell this fight, bro. Rolly gonna end up selling this fight. Then he gonna end up getting the short end of the stick. That ain't cool. Fight Shakur. This is the RTH podcast. I'm your host and nephew, and I'm signing tonight. Y'all take it easy, bro. Peace. RTH podcast going live, man. With Brawl Night champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate. Or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.